This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2018 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD. That's a one ton. It's a double cab, long bed, single rear wheel. Uh, it has a 6.6 .6 liter uh, turbo diesel. It's a Duramax, obviously. It's four wheel drive. It's a work truck model, but it's a loaded up work truck. Um, this vehicle was a enterprise fleet vehicle that they leased out to Home Depot. It's one of those rental trucks you can rent at uh, Home Depot. Um, I love buying these type of vehicles because uh, Home Depot doesn't like to get sued, so they service the crap out of these things. So that's not an excuse if somebody dies <laughs> in their rental truck that uh, it wasn't serviced right. Um, so they're always really well maintained, and uh, this is no different. Um, we brought it here to Tucson. Uh, all we had to do was get all the Home Depot stickers off of it and put another bumper on the rear. The rear bumper on the uh, right rear, I'll show you the bumper. The bumper's on the ground behind it, the former bumper. Uh, had a nice big dent in it, more like a push in on it. And it kind of got into the rear, so rear lower part of the bed, which we pulled out. It looks pretty good. Uh, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. We had to, uh, bumper on it we had a new exhaust tip put on it um, and new hanger for the exhaust we did an inspection uh, at monsoon uh, our, our repair shop and they loved it they said obviously all the fluids are new there's a uh, oil change sticker inside that says it's new it's fantastic um, let's see and then we sent it to detail anyway just got back from detail um and my job is to walk around this thing and show you what's wrong not what's right um what's right will stand out obviously um tires look like they're probably 70 80 maybe 90 percent tread um i always put everything that we have in our entire inventory i always put on our four uh drive on lift four post drive on lift and uh pressure spray the undercarriage so i can see what's going on um first of all because it's a california truck um came from fresno um there's really nothing going on underneath it uh but it is super clean now it was clean when i started and now it's real clean um my brother there's a little ding right here my uh brother will take uh, i don't know 40 to 60 hd photos in that gallery you can uh spend more time than you can just watching the video um and look at anything you see up close this is where the dot stickers used to be so we had those pressure sprayed off there's a little bit of residue there one of them uh, there's one on the other side in exactly the same spot but i don't think it's as it has any scratches like that one does anyway it's a good looking truck actually it came out quite a bit nicer than uh we thought it would come out cosmetically um, usually those stickers do do a little bit of damage but they didn't really do hardly any damage except where those DOT stickers were. Um, so anyway, I'll show you uh, before and after pictures. There's the bumper that came off of it, okay? So you can see that. So it got pushed right in here. It damaged the tip of the exhaust. So that tip is new. We pulled this down, it was folded up. We pulled that down and that's what it looks like. Uh, like I said, my, my job in these videos is not to BS people, it's to tell people what's happening so that they know and they can go to the photo gallery and uh check things out there's your light plug there got a cool goose goose deck with some safety straps to chain in your your trailer i like that that's really cool um nice work box there plugs yeah the most important thing in our business is to make sure that whatever we show you is 100% accurate and to be rougher on our on our inventory in the description uh, than it really is. Uh, that way you're happily surprised instead of unhappily surprised. See right here is where the other sticker was. You don't see any of that right here. I did a nice job getting them off. Here we got a couple remotes, a bunch of keys for the box, remotes, keys for the truck, lots of stuff going on here. So let's see. There's locked, unlocked. All right, 166,738 miles. All right. There you go. And 
there's your little oil change sticker. 48 of 23 and the other ones due at 168,860. So you got about 2,000 miles before you need another oil change. All right, first of all, all this stuff I'm gonna show you is linked in the ad. You can look at it on your own time if you'd like, but I always run through it. Here's the auto check, this is the vehicle history. There's your VIN, auto check score, no accidents reported. But actually there was an accident, I'm sorry, this is that right rear. Um, passenger rear bumper CB4 photos, which I'll show you in just a second. Ba -ba 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 -ba, San Jose police report, accident report. And they never fix them, especially when they're rental trucks. So that's why, anyway, this is, uh, this is what it looked like before, right there and right there. Like I said, all these photos, with all the stickers and everything, all these photos will be in the ad, so you can look through that. Here's our repair invoice from uh, Monsoon for this truck. Um, let's see, replace rear bumper, brakes at six millimeter front, three millimeter rear, that's all right, all fluids look good. Ba -ba -ba. That's about that. Here's the uh, bumper we bought from Best Salvage for a 2018, we paid $400 for that. What was nice, it came with all the brackets, so we knew everything would fit perfectly instead of aftermarket stuff. Um, here's the exhaust. Uh, rehang exhaust, replace four, in, four inch uh, tail section. And people ask us how we come up with our uh, with our prices. Here, here's how we do it. Um, we go to car gurus, auto trader, etc. Um, 2018 uh, 3500 HD truck, obviously it's a single rear wheel. Um, with 189,000, they say as a fair deal is 33.9. Um, let's see what else. We have a 18 Silverado, same truck, with 152,000 miles. Fair deal is 38.990. Let's see another one. It's a uh, 158,000 miles. 35.995 is a fair deal. Um, Obviously, you're not gonna be paying anywhere close to that, which is why we're very attractive to people. Uh, we're not trying to make a fortune here, we're trying to make a living, and we're not trying to collect cars. Um, we don't have months and months and months and months to sit on vehicles, we have to move them. And they don't get any better with age, they're not wine. Um, so, we move them, all right? Here's under the hood. Nothing going on here but a nice Duramax, great motor. All right, there's your window up and down. Carpet and stuff's in great shape. It had some sort of a, something mounted there, probably a computer or something. Um, it does have a couple uh, USB ports here and a power plug here. Boom, boom, boom. This is a, uh, registration for it in California Enterprise Trust uh, Home Depot USA you have your uh, manual also okay I like double cabs because it doesn't it's bigger than an extra cab smaller than a crew cab and it takes away the length from the long bed everyone wants a long bed but they're hard to drive when it's a full-size crew cab so this is uh kind of helpful in that area let's see we do have this light up here this is the switch right here by the way so you got that going there i don't know if that matters to you or not we were going to take it out we thought maybe somebody would want it Window, 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 up and down, Let's see what's up and down. We've got mirrors. See, this is a really loaded work truck. I'm not really sure why they call it a work truck other than it must be, um, these are all the mirrors going up and down and everything. We've got tilt wheel here. Let's see, windshield wipers. I mean, usually work trucks don't have any of this stuff. They're very stripped down, you know, even crank windows. So this is about as loaded as you're ever gonna get. One of these. Let's see, what do we got going on here? All right, radio. All right, 
let's see. We're gonna go to neutral. We're gonna go to four low. Shift in progress. That stability track, traction control goes off when you're in four low. We go drive. Then we go into reverse. We get a backup camera. All right, neutral. Now we'll go to four high. Stability track will come back on. Traction control comes back on. This is in four high. Drive and reverse. Okay, neutral. Now we'll go back to two wheel drive. And we're gonna go for a ride. All right. If you come to Tucson and drive this thing home, buy a trailer and drag it home. This is a hell of a thing to drag something home with. It's a nice truck. Um, if you do come here, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Once we receive full payment uh, by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address sign it off to you we will scan it into your online file and we will mail you the title um, you will have the truck shipped to you uh, the title will be in your mailbox by the time the shipper shows up and you'll just take the truck and the title to your local motor vehicles to get plates if you need help with shipping um, let me know early in the transaction I do this all the time I'm good at it uh, but we have a lot of customers who are good at it also uh, we have Kyle Kennedy in San Diego who's a master at buying our vehicles and getting them out of here before we ba barely know they're even sold. Um, he's bought, I don't know, 10 or 11 or 12 or something. Anyway, um, if you know how to do it, go for it. If you need help, let me know early. We can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle so you make one payment for the whole thing. Um, let's see, what else? Deposit. Deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So I see a cop right here, and I don't think I want to let him go in front of me since I'm speeding. <laughs> and I got a camera in my hand. So, anyway. Huh, I wonder what's going to happen here. Huh, there you go. Um, anyhow, uh, blah, 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 blah. I think that's about it. I think uh, deposit needs to get in. That's 500 bucks once we have that deposit. God, by the way, it's freaking hot here. It's because the freaking heater's on. Um, once we get your deposit, we have, a, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your deposit in. Until we have a deposit, it will stay for sale. This truck is gonna be extremely popular. Um, so please make sure you get that done. Last part of every video, I say the same thing and I will for this one. Um, we're actually, um, going to be going on i-10 here people have been asking me to take especially the diesel trucks on i-10 so i do uh, uh, we don't have salesmen we don't have bottled water with our name on it we don't have um uh, a fancy location you just saw where we came from um uh, we're in the industrial area our road sucks um we pay our uncle a dollar a year for that property uh, we don't have salesmen to pay. We don't have an attendant serving scones and lattes and everything like they do everywhere else uh, at the auto mall. So that saves you a lot of money because we don't have the bills to pay like they do, okay? Um, uh, but when they sell you a vehicle and they crush you like a tin can, they know that when something breaks, they're going to have to fix it because you did pay a fortune for it. Um, They include five to seven hundred dollars in every deal at the auto mall at a new car dealership when they're selling a used vehicle for future repairs so that they're not actually fixing your vehicle with their money they're fixing it with the money they charged you when you bought it well we don't charge you extra money when you buy it for future repairs um, in exchange for this video and the information and the, and the receipts and the invoices and all the knowledge we have about the vehicle uh, what we've done and what we know and what we haven't done etc um, you become the owner on day one you will be fixing your truck when it breaks there's not a single vehicle out here that isn't gonna break now that being said obviously because of where it came from its history the thing was very well taken care of mechanically it runs like it's brand new but it doesn't mean that the day you get it something's not gonna break Okay, uh, I'm not a, I'm not a liar. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what really is happening. Okay, and uh, 
the bottom line is that uh, you're saving thousands of dollars buying from us. Um, and if something breaks, you'll have plenty of money left in the deal to fix it and still be thrilled with your purchase. If that idea doesn't work for you, that you need to be able to call us and say, oh my God, the radio quit or the air conditioning quit or the heater quit, which by the way, the heater quit, it'd be a miracle because it's freaking hot 500 degrees in here <laughs> with that heater. But let me turn on the air and see, make sure that we got functional air here. Um, but uh, if any of that stuff has a problem, you will have saved thousands of dollars buying for us. Go get it fixed. You know, don't call us and yell at us and say, I want to check for $900. You said this or that. Uh, that's not how this works. We can't give you both. And now, if you do want to buy warranty from us, $2,500, you can have a warranty for a year. Okay? I think you should just keep the $2,500 in your pocket and uh, fix whatever breaks, which probably will be nothing. But if it does, plenty of money to say is saved in the deal to fix your truck. Um... I think that's about it. God, it's a beautiful day too, by the way. Um, la, 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 what else? Kind of cutting traffic here, but uh, our videos, some sometime back in the early, like 2007 or eight, when we started doing this, um, YouTube gave us 17 minutes and 38 seconds for our videos, a very weird number. We didn't ask for that number, it just is what we got, and no one can explain why. So at 17 minutes and 38 seconds, we are done with our video. And right now we're at 17.04. So when I disappear at 17.38, uh, nothing happened. I'm still alive. <laughs> the truck is fine. Maybe we just ran out of time. So I'm just going to shut up until it runs out of time, okay?